The employment, uh, Oklahoma Employment Security Commission hosted the second day of a career fair in Tulsa today. Just a few months ago, many people were standing in line trying to get information on unemployment, but there weren't many lines for those seeking employment today. As 2 News reporter Jeanette Casada found out, several employers were surprised by the turnout. Well, this career fair is full of job opportunities, but employers I spoke with say the challenge is getting them filled. We are hiring for all positions within the restaurant. Aaron Miller is a recruiter for Rip Crib Barbecue. His company is one of dozens of employers with hundreds of jobs waiting to be filled. Miller says the restaurant industry is struggling to get people back in the workforce. He says this year he's seen less traffic than he was anticipating. I think the pandemic has made people scared. You're dealing with the public every single day. Alicia Neely is a recruiter for the Cherokee Nation's Hard Rock Casino. She says the hospitality industry is facing the same struggle. Neely has attended this career fair in years past, but is shocked with this year's turnout. I'm shocked because this attendance used to be a lines deep of, of candidates looking for quality companies to come to work for, and I am not seeing the attendance this year like I normally do. Shelly Somwalt, executive director with the state's Employment Security Commission, says unemployment is up in Oklahoma. As of March, unemployment stood at 4.2 percent, compared to 3.1 percent in February of last year. Somwalt says the career fair is an effort to connect claimants to job opportunities. And for an attendee today, she was excited she did connect to a job. I was grateful enough to see IHOP here, and I got the chance to get a job and show I want to achieve a career through this uh, career fair. Somwalt says unemployment benefits are another challenge employers are up against. She says as we near the cutoff deadline of federal benefits, the opportunities may no longer be there. That's why she encourages claimants to not wait too long. One person I spoke with was looking for work after finishing her education and serving in the military. Today, she told me she found some potentials. In Tulsa, Janet Quesada, 2 News.